Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. So today we got a different kind of video here. I'm gonna be showing you how to save your Survivor Series anthologies. Um, in most cases, I've read a lot of reviews that uh, a lot of people aren't happy with the quality of these. And a lot of people had issues with the skipping discs. I am in that same boat where the majority of these at one point or another skip and are pretty much unplayable. Um, I get about an hour into most of these and they they won't even play. You can't fast forward or nothing. So I'm not happy about that. I'm going to have to take them in, get uh, cleaned up. And if that doesn't work, I might have to buy new copies. So what do we got here? We got a box from Amazon. And we got some multi-pack DVD holders. These are 12 packs. And I got... Uh, they only come in four packs, so you get four four of these things, which hold 12 discs. Now you can get up to, uh, you can get 10 discs, eight, six, four, whatever size you like. But I only grabbed the, the 12 discs for one reason, I'll show you in a minute, but uh, for one, I didn't want uh, any discs rubbing against each other, so. If you'd like the link, these are available on Amazon Canada. They also have them on eBay. These were actually cheaper on Amazon for me. But if you're in the States, they might be cheaper on eBay. Came to about $30 Canadian, which is, you know, decent. Um, you know, they're, they're hard. 33 millimeters. So... Yeah, we got four. I only got the three here right now. I got another one uh, planned, but, you know, I'm not a fan of the way these are packaged at all with the uh, the sleeve inserts. So, I think this is the main reason for the disc skipping, you know, sliding in and out, in and out, and uh, rubbing against that. You know, you look at the discs... Some of the discs actually look fairly good, but, you know, for whatever reason, they just won't play. And, you know, that really bums me out, because I actually really love these sets. Um, sadly, they didn't finish them, but let's take a look how they look inside. So I just wanted, you know one disc per side so that's why i got the 12 that way they weren't uh overlapping or touching anywhere and then i'll go out get them cleaned i am currently going through them all to see which ones play which ones are, are garbage and so far i think all of them are skipped which is uh not a good sign and i watched about i would say i went through about five of them already five or six um uh, so I know for sure 87 and 88 are no good, 92, no good, 96, no good, and that's one of my favorites. So I think they actually look pretty cool in here. Um, I And the reason other why I got these is I'll also put the SummerSlam uh, anthologies in here. So see, I didn't have a problem with any of the SummerSlam discs skipping. It's only the Survivor Series, which is weird because they're packaged the same. But also, I think the uh, nothing has been, you know, pressing against these packages either. Like the SummerSlam, they're in their own cooler and whatnot. So if they if they can't be clean and are working, I'm definitely gonna have to buy a new set. So let me show you what else I got. So here is the fourth pack. And in here, 
is where I put all my in your house uh, pay per views. So we got one, two, three. I kind of put one on the bottom just for the fact, uh, you know, these things overlap backwards, I guess. But whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, these are. Not the best pay-per-views, you know, this is a rough time period for WWE, but it's definitely, uh, it's a cool generation, man. I, I love this uh, era, the new generation era. You know, some of these weren't uh, tagged, but then we get into Good Friends, Better Enemies, Good Show, Beware a Dog, which happened on two separate dates, International Incident. And then, uh, Mind Games, one of my favorites. Buried Alive, It's Time. And that wraps up the first dozen. I have the, uh, the other eight on a stack. Right here. So then you got Final Four. The, uh, Canadian Stampede. I may just go out and find a, like, six or eight disc uh, pack just for the rest of these yeah you got revenge of the taker cold day in hell and this kind of pissed me off when i bought these because i did want them all on separate discs because my original plan was to put uh all these in singular cases download the artwork and the cover arts for all of them and uh make it look pretty cool but you know i get uh the guy that did these, I wasn't too happy about that. And he said they were made like that. And I, I don't think that's possible. Because I asked him to put them each on a disc. And he clearly didn't do that. And we got Ground Zero. Bad Blood. DX and No Way Out from 98, which I never asked him for. I asked him for No Way Out 2001. So that also pissed me off quite a bit. I asked this guy for 20 DVDs. Well, that's what I paid for. Here, collectively, is 19. Something I never asked for. So I'm short one disc right now, and something I never asked for, on top of the two pay-per-views on one disc. So, won't name who it is, but I, I wasn't happy with uh, how this went down. But I am happy to have all these, you know, anyway, you know, regardless of if this guy messed up the order or not. Could have been a simple error with the No Way Out, but 20 discs is not that hard to mess up. So this is a mainly video about the Survivor Series uh, DVDs because that really bums me out that these are in uh, rough shape. And, I, you know, reading a lot of reviews online and seeing people with the same problems. Even people bought them brand new had the problem. So maybe I can uh, get them professionally uh cleaned and uh, resurfaced and hopefully they will uh, be in good working order so let me know your thoughts guys let me know if you have done this before we'll talk to you later peace